Good evening and welcome to News24. This is Mahrin Samdani with the top news of the day. The first dose of corona vaccine has been declared closed in the country from tomorrow until further notice. This was informed in a press release on Sunday afternoon. After this discussion meeting on Malaria Day, the Director General of the Department of Health said that the corona vaccine is con coming to Bangladesh in the first week of next month. At this time, 20 lakh doses of vaccine are to be sent from Serum Institute. The World Health Organization's Vaccine Alliance, COVAX, will also send 1 lakh doses of Pfizer vaccine. The Director General of Health also said that the Chinese government wanted to gift 5 lakh doses of Sinopharm to Bangladesh. Meanwhile, all communication with India except emergency transport has been declared closed for 14 days. Well, in the last 24 hours, 101 people have died in corona in the country. The total number of deaths in the country has exceeded 11,000. So far, a total of 11,053 people have lost their lives. In the last 24 hours, 2,922 people have been identified as corona. With this, the total number of detected corona pa patients stands at 6,45,322 people. This information has been given in a press release of the Directorate General of Health Services on Sunday afternoon. After being closed for 11 days in a row, the country's shops and shopping malls reopened today. However, on the first day, there was not much pressure from buyers anywhere. Vendors say that if public transport is not introduced, the business slump will not go away by keeping the shops open. On the other hand, the news of opening of shopping malls has changed the image of the capital in a day. Vehicles have increased on the road and traffic jam has increased. Many are coming by private car, motorbike or on foot and easy bike with extra fare as public transport is still off. There are allegations that you have to pay several times more to go to your destination. Extreme misery is being borne by the low-income people. They are crowding the podda on the ferry and ignoring hygiene rules. Shafayat, who was injured in a fire at a six-story building in the capital's old Hakas Armanitola, has died. He died at the Sheikh Hasina National Institute of Burn and plastic surgery around 8.30 a.m. on Sunday. The death toll from the blaze has risen to five. The chief coordinator of the Sheikh Hasina Burn Institute has announced the death of Shamuntolal Shen Shafayat. Haji Musa Mansion caught fire after 3.15 a.m. last Friday. Four people died on the same day. A total of 20 people have been admitted to the hospital in connection with the fire in Armanitola. Of them, 18 were in the post-operative unit and the remaining five were in the ICU. Meanwhile, the administration has sealed the building. There are currently no residents. Home Minister Sadhuzaman Khan Kamal has said that talks with Hifazat may be held, but the perpetrators will not be released. Speaking at a function at Rajthani School of Manikmia Avenue on Sunday, the Home Minister said those responsible for the sabotage, violence, vandalism and arson must be held accountable. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.